What on earth is that? What a terrible artwork. Look at these flat dudes. Are they made of paper? A rock formation supported by pillars? Are you stupid? Is that a castle? No freaking shadows. A building that's meant to look large and magnificent, looking tiny and uninteresting. I mean, who the hell is this artist? Clearly doesn't know what he's doing. Man, what you looking at? I did not make this. Okay, I did. All right, all right. It was a long time ago, okay? Hello everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I am going to recreate an old artwork of mine. So I found this artwork from one of the old hard drives and clearly it's bad. So let's talk about what's wrong with this artwork. Let's start with the lack of perspective in this image. It seems like the main building is following some kind of z-axis because it's narrowing down on the top but the z-axis apparently does not apply on any of the surrounding environment. We can't really tell how close the characters are and how much distance is there between the characters and the main building. I can see that there is some kind of atmospheric perspective as well but not quite enough. Secondly, the shape of this rock is really weird. The shape design could be a lot better. I think at the time I was just messing with the idea of photo textures. I was really inspired by Fang Zhu and how he used photo textures to instantly add details. Speaking of adding details using photo textures, I recently did a video on that so make sure to check that out. So photo textures usually work best when you have a solid foundation and clearly I did not know how to paint rocks. I should have focused on the larger shapes and plans of the rocks first. The cloud do not seem to have any volume. I think I was just experimenting with some cloud brushes here. Also I am noticing that the lighting is not consistent. In fact, it's very hard to guess the light's direction. Even looking at the main building, I should have probably made one of the sides a bit darker. Apparently, I have used only one texture for the whole building, and that includes the concrete part and the blue part. That does not necessarily work because I'm not treating these different materials differently. Just one texture to rule them all. Bad idea. The design of the main building could be improved as well. It seems like I was going for some sort of a sci-fi look. Maybe some art deco, not sure. But I know it can be improved. The characters don't really have a place to stand. They are merging with the environment and they look very flat. No volume, just paper dudes. Alright, so imagine if I had the idea for this artwork today. I would have processed it a bit differently. Here's what the idea would sound like. A sunlit scene of a large rocky landscape with a a tower created on top of a rock. A staircase is leading up to the tower and two people in the foreground are looking at this magnificent tower, like every good environment concept art ever. And in the background, there should be some distant mountains. Okay, we have the brief now, so I'm just gonna get to work. Please make sure to watch the whole video to see the complete process. I hope you'll enjoy it. Don't miss out to see the comparison at the end of this video. Let's do this.
Alright guys, hope you liked this video, hope you learned something new. If you did, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you're new here. Click on that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I'll see you again soon in the next one. Take care, goodbye.